Thank you, Stuart. Um, now, the office group and indeed club rooms, uh, the emphasis on the space, and they are incredibly well detailed and well thought through as pieces of design, but also as part of uh, um, this idea of distributed working. Uh, something is very exciting is happening. As, a, as our panel builds up, you can see that there's all, all different types of emergent models. And to give you a, a, a further one, can I welcome our fourth speaker? And that is Pierre Paolo Muccelli, the founder of eOffice. The first UK and European co-working space was established in 2002, based in Soho. So please welcome Pierre. Great, good afternoon. I think I have 30 seconds left. No, no, no. no it's a great, uh, thanks for the, for the introduction uh, of different concepts. I have prepared something very simple for you today. Um, I guess you all, you all have an idea what co-working space is. Uh, there's not a clear definition. It is an emerging market. I'm actually back from um, a co-working conference, the, the third European co-working conference that was held in Paris uh, last week. So it's been a busy couple of weeks with conferences. And um, that was attended by over 200 uh, different operators. Um, so the mar market is definitely uh, certainly emerging. Um, in, in, in my opinion, um, the definition of co-working space is, is a flexible, fully furnished office space, either a building or a floor, uh, that is mostly a structure on an open plan environment with workstations or benches, where different companies and individuals share, this, share the space, and with very little uh, private or um, self-contained offices, apart from meeting spaces, of course. Um, the market has changed very, very, very much since we first launched e-office in 2002 um, in a 7,000 square feet lower ground floor in Soho um, with 70 workstations. Since then, we moved to a 20,000 square feet building in Soho. Um, and uh, and um, you will see how the market has evolved. Um, these are just a few pictures of our environment so that the co-working space mostly open with some meeting space, a service level, of course, and the social element. Um, okay, um, I have divided just five slides, um, five categories. Um, public spaces, um, of course, the British Library, the IP Center is, is a great example of that. Uh, they've been running for, for years and uh, universities and innovation centers throughout the country um, are present um, with, with labs and innovation center and spaces for startups primarily. Um, in the last few years, you see um, the emergence of members clubs. Now, Adam Street is probably the, more, you know, the oldest in this field. Um, I hope I'm right with the, with the year of, of um, establishment. And you're probably familiar with the Hospital Club, a beautiful building in Covent Garden, uh, very much media, media focused. And in a way, Soho House and Sorodich House uh, are also places where people, not only for leisure, restaurants, uh, clubs, but also, also people do, do work. Um, there is a beautiful place that opened a couple of years ago in Tottenham Court Road in West End um, called One Alfred Place, um, again, very much focusing uh, towards the media, the media industry with a lot of touchdown spaces, conference rooms, and, and event spaces. Uh, the clubhouse is very new, is in Mayfair, um, just opened, again, a beautiful center. The, the standards really going up. Uh, they opened uh, only a few months ago in the heart of Mayfair, a very, I would say, five-star um, concept. Um, then, we have a multitude of independent. Uh, according to uh, Desmeg and uh, the site coworkinglondon.com, there are now um, 49 co-working centers in London. 90% um, of them were established in the last 24 months. Um, I believe we were the first one in 2002. Um, I was very worried that after four years, three to four years, still there were no other operators. Then our friends, Hindi and, and the hub established in uh, Islington, I believe, Angel, and, and obviously now you're, you're, all, you're all out and you have a beautiful center in Westminster, which is one of the largest co-working spaces in, uh, in London and probably in Europe. Uh, you have several co-work, this is 
not, this is just a selection of spaces of independent operators. Many of them are in East London now, Tech City, uh, the Tramperay, Tech Hub, the Cube, White Spaces. Um, you have quite a number of them also in South London, SW4, uh, Le Bureau, um, uh, the, the Piano House in Brixton, um, and, and many more. Um, again, if you see the date of establishment, most of them have been established in the last, in the last couple of years. Central working is also a very interesting concept, um, again, rolling out uh, throughout London. Um, BC stands for Business Centre, we heard from Julia earlier on. We have a number of, and, and from Stuart of course, we have a number of established business centres uh, Regis is the biggest, of course, and, 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 and with the largest network, they have, uh, you know, Julia has, as, as, as already explained, uh, the lounge concept, for example, they have a beautiful lounge uh, by Berkeley Street, um, just off Berkeley Square, actually. Again, the office group um, uh, entering uh, the market, converting um, three or four of their centers, or part of their centers into co-working space. Uh, a leading property company workspace, you're probably familiar with that. Um, again, they launched Club Workspace. Uh, they opened two and they're opening two more um, in, the next, uh, in the next few months. Uh, co-work, another interesting concept. Um, they opened three co-working spaces. Um, so these are traditional business centers that are now uh, trying to offer a more complete service to, uh, to the end users, to, 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 to their clients. Uh, and Probably, my, I, I would say, in my opinion, the most beautiful and most complete business centre at the moment in the UK, uh, Dryland in High Street, Kensington, um, um, run by Emma Hunt, um, is a beautiful space, is a big building. Um, Equinox uh, Gym is opening on the back, on the ground floor, and they have a full service solution from a from a, um, a traditional self-contained office to meeting space, co-working space, very well designed, coffee bar, library, lounge, and so forth. Um, go and have a look at it if you say if you if you're in the area. Um, another very interesting um, trend: um, big tech companies um, offering um, um, you know space to either their clients, their suppliers, or um, or to startups. Talk talk. Um, then we actually occupy most of the most of the building now. They have uh, they have a uh, they have a large uh, building in Soho. They opened a couple of years ago. Mozilla Spaces again opened a beautiful centre in Covent Garden, 10,000 square feet, mostly for their developers, uh, but they also uh, entertain a lot of um, um, events, uh, in particular for startups. Uh, again, you probably heard about Google Campus. Um, Again, an investment from Google in uh, Tech City in East London, um, and that is a building that is split in uh, five floors now. Um, and again, um, you have hundreds of startups um, working from there. Um, I haven't visited O2 workshops, but um, again, they opened a couple of months ago. Uh, things are moving very fast. Um, 5,000 square feet space. Um, of meeting space that touched down four startups. Uh, Telefonica, uh, they recently moved out to a beautiful building in, um, just behind Piccadilly, and they converted their old office, uh, 10,000 square feet, and uh, they provide free space to 20 startups that they fund every year uh, on rotation. So every year they have 20 more startups. Um, so very interesting market and uh, that was it for me actually thank you perfect thank you